Okay, it's my husband's birthday. I want my makeup to look pretty because I haven't been out in two weeks. So I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. It lasts a really long time, it doesn't transfer. I'm mixing two colors. I kind of self-tan myself a little bit, not on my face, but on the rest of my body. So I'm gonna mix 1N14 with a little bit of 2N34. Oh, a little bit goes a long way, see? I think that works. I find if I'm between two colors and I go with the lightest version, you can really see the details of my fine lines and wrinkles. And if I can sheet my color up a little bit, it works. It just looks better. And make sure to get right in the hairline when you're doing your foundation. Look it, I have a new spider vein right there. I'm gonna have to go get that lasered. How did that happen? Okay, now that that's set a little bit, I'm gonna go back into this area right here and tap it. So this is called stippling. And you see, I'm not gonna thin it out. I'm just gonna place it there. There's a nice vein there and gone. And around my nose, perfect. A little bit of derma blend right there. I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer with powder right in there. And this powder has been my favorite. It is the Laura Mercier Blur Powder. I don't get paid to say that. I just love it, especially for my dry skin. It's perfect. I'm just using this part of my Makeup by Mario Skin Perfector. I want a subtle bronze. And I think I'm gonna use the Skin Enhancer for right here. I'm wearing a black sweater tonight because we're gonna be on the patio. It's a heated patio, but I'm thinking it might be a little bit chilly. So because it's got a little bit of a higher neck, I feel like a nice elegant look would be really pretty. I wanna keep playing with this. So this is the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. I'm gonna keep playing with it so I can show you different looks. So I'm gonna use this one right here. That one is Nurture. I wanna keep it really classy. So I'm gonna start low this time with it and then build it up from here. And then in circular motions, I'm going to blend it upwards. I think sometimes I go too high too fast with my product and then I'm having to work to blend it out. Like I've been doing this for a long time, but you know, I get sloppy. So basically it added like a nice contour to my eye. My favorite part about going out is getting ready. I wanna use this plum, but I'm going to use it as my liner. So this one's called Instinct. Well, it's quite red. So I'm gonna deepen that up, I think. I gotta be careful because sometimes that can make me look like I'm drunk or sick. So I gotta be very careful with my fair skin. And I can feel my lashes moving when I do this. So you don't wanna have a space between your liner and your lashes. Now I'm gonna go into edgy and I'm gonna deepen that up. Two colors mixed I think will be really pretty. It looks a bit red now, but I think when I get my mascara on, it's all gonna come together. I'm gonna take Aspiration and put it in the corner here. I'm gonna tap it on really lightly first, because I really don't want it to go all over the place, as I often do. And if I keep going, it's gonna be dramatic, and I don't want it to be dramatic. This is an empty brush, and I'm gonna drag it over the edge. I'm gonna put Spontaneous right there. I'm gonna put mascara on just to make sure I like it. Too late to start over anyways. See, once I get mascara on, it's fine. What am I gonna do for the bottom? I think I'm gonna go back to Nurture, which is that neutral color, and use it as my eyeliner. I don't want color down here, I just want a shadow. I need a blush. And with the magic of editing, <laughs> I hope this helps. Bye.